Pruning is an important component of maintaining tree health. We also often prune for safety reasons, and of course we prune to establish an aesthetically pleasing appearance to our plants and good structure in the branching patterns. Now the late dormant season is the best time to prune most of our trees. When we prune late in the dormant season, the wounds are only exposed for a short period of time before the sealing process begins. It also makes pruning decisions easier because we can see the full branching structure without it being obscured by leaves. And pruning at the proper time can help us avoid certain disease and other problems. Now with plants, of course, there's always exceptions to the rules. Certain trees have free-flowing sap that tends to run or bleed when we do a late winter or early spring pruning. And this doesn't particularly cause any harm to the tree, but it's a concern to a lot of homeowners. So to avoid this bleeding, we can prune plants that are prone to bleeding, such as maples, walnuts, and birches. We could prune those after the leaves have fully expanded, and that would be late spring or early summer. But it's important to remember that when we prune during the growing season, we never want to remove more than one quarter of the foliage at any one time. It's getting a bit late in the season for dormant pruning, but sometimes it's necessary to prune out of season. And, and this is when we see what I call the three Ds of pruning, disease, damage, or dead material. Now in the springtime, I like to look at my plants for signs of infection or disease. And if you find something unusual in the landscape and you're not sure what it is, you could submit a photograph to the digital diagnostics at the Plant Disease and Insect Diagnostics Lab at OSU Stillwater Campus. Now remember, if you're pruning diseased material from your trees, you want to clean your tools in between cuts and make sure that you dispose of that diseased material. It never hurts a tree to remove dead material any time of the year. And in fact, we might be removing a further source of infection if that dead material is caused by an insect or disease. And finally, if we see damaged material or broken limbs, we want to remove those as soon as possible, especially if they're dangling up in treetops and posing a safety concern. When we remove damaged material, we make a clean cut that allows those wounds to seal quickly. Thank you.